Hello Magical Butterfly. Welcome to the Twin Flame Awakening weekly reading. This week's reading is about the Divine Masculine. I heard Divine Masculine is no longer ignoring the signs, so I'm going to do an energy check-in on the Divine Masculine to see where he's at when it comes to the Divine Feminine and their Twin Flame connection. So take only what speaks directly to your soul and what doesn't, release it and let it fly. First, I'm going to tap into the overall energy for the Divine Masculine, the current headspace for the Divine Masculine and the current heart space for the Divine Masculine. What is the current energy? the Divine Masculine, what is the Masculine's headspace, what is the Masculine's heart space. When it comes to the Divine Feminine and their Twin Flame connection. Okay, the overall energy is action. So the Masculine is most likely seeing a lot of birds and these birds are telling him that it's time to take some type of action, some movement forward when it comes to the feminine and their connection. The birds are telling him, this is true. This is commitment. This is your true love. The divine feminine is the one. So his energy has shifted into healing. So if he has been resisting his healing, through the birds and the signs and just not being able to ignore them. He is now on a healing journey. Some masculines are working on releasing a karmic partner. Now a karmic partner does not have to be a love interest. It could be a family member, um, a friend, a, jo uh, a co-worker, a job. It could be a situation but he's releasing someone that most likely isn't good for him anymore. And that is causing him to shift into the energy of reinvention because he wants to reinvent himself and to stand in his power because he's seeing the divine feminine is in her power. His headspace when it comes to the feminine and the connection is yes. He is very much saying yes. His head space, his intuition is saying yes. He knows in the past that he has settled, so he could have chosen a different person. He could have chosen a karmic partner over the divine feminine, but he sees that he has settled in the past. And now he is working on healing that so he can start choosing what is right to his heart. So he's at a crossroads right now. He is in deep reflection, deep contemplation, and he definitely just feels the need to change it up in the material world. So this masculine could be thinking about a career change. He could be um, moving to the next level in his job. But he very much is connecting to his inner child and this inner child healing is showing him the patterns, the behaviors, and anything from his past that he needs to heal. So this masculine is ascending. That's why he can no longer ignore the signs. So when it comes to his heart space, he knows in the past that he has numbed the feelings and he has buried them, but they have resurfaced. And he now sees that the Divine Feminine is the only one who has the key to his heart, and he wants to offer it to her. He may have abandoned the connection, and she too, they could be in separation, but overall, he wants to receive her love and, she, and he wants her to receive his love because he now feels worthy. So the universe is telling the Divine Masculine to have patience while he releases what he needs to release. He is allowing things to fall away that don't serve him anymore. He is in deep purge. He is refocusing himself so he can bloom something bright, something
something new and something true. So now I want to tap into what the Divine Masculine is learning from this energy shift of not ignoring the signs. So what is the Divine Masculine learning? From all of this, these epiphanies, this shift in mindset, heart space, what is he learning from all of this? Okay, he is learning that the flame is forever burning, that she is his eternity, and he is hers. He is understanding that he is completing a cycle. He is closing a karmic cycle. He is closing a chapter of his life. And he now sees her as a diamond. And he wants to make a promise to her. He wants to set himself free so he can go towards her. So 999 shows me the last full moon that we had showed him the profound lessons that were at hand and that he can close this cycle if he truly wants to. He sees the feminine as his fate, his queen of hearts, and now he is ready to offer her the key to unlock his heart because he sees it in her eyes, the love, the true love that he has always wanted. The color green shows me that he is very in control of his career and his health has improved and he is bringing in abundance. But now, when it comes to the Divine Feminine, he wants to weave a web and start fresh. So the Divine Masculine is learning that he is having a spiritual awakening and that he is on the right path. And not ignoring the signs just means that he can continue his healing, he can continue his releasing, and he can continue moving forward. So let's see what action he's going to take. So what action is the Divine Masculine going to take with the Divine Feminine, with his Twin Flame journey, with his life? What action will the Divine Masculine take? Okay, I'm hearing free will, so whatever action he does take will be his free will decision. So he is going to make the decision to follow his heart. The Seven of Cups shows me that if his feminine is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, she is his fantasy and she, he has always been tempted by her. And he is going to want to build something with her. Because I feel the Divine Feminine has worked on herself and she has reinvented himself and he is doing the same because here she is the queen of cups she is intuitive she is sensitive definitely water energy some more dominant in her chart she could be sun moon or rising or this just symbolizes she has connected to her intuition she could have intuitive abilities or she's just so much in her divine feminine energy that she just allows her emotions and feelings to just keep her as a nurturing divine feminine who is grounded, who is stable. So he wants to offer her something. The light bulb shows me the epiphany that he's had. So he wants to offer her something because he sees her as his future. The trials and tribulations that he has learned is helping him build the foundation and commitment. I always see the Four of Wands as the union card because he is shedding the Two of Swords and replacing it with the Two of Cups. A divine partnership, a twin flame love, two souls coming together as one. So right now, the action he's going to take, he's going to make a decision. He's going to make a free will decision that is going to affect his life. He is going to understand that he is the Divine Masculine. He is the Emperor. And he is going to release the burdens by speaking his truth, by finding the strength. And they want me to pull the strength card, so 
I feel by Leo season, which is July 23rd through August 22nd or something like that, he is going to make some type of decision to come towards her. Because he's the king of wands. He is confident, he is passionate, and he is in his full power. So I want to pull some cards to get some channeled messages from the Divine Masculines, Higher Self, to the Divine Feminine. So this will be a mini little channeled letter from the Divine Masculines, Higher Self, speaking from his heart to his Divine Feminine. So what would he like to say? I want to be your king or your queen, because remember, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is our energy. I have never forgotten you, Divine Feminine, even when you think I have. I want to tell you how I feel. I love you. I have never stopped loving you. And I've always been with you, even in separation. But I know you know that. You have been my greatest lesson. Have I been yours? I hunger for you day and night. You are all I think about. You are all I desire. We will be celebrating soon. I promise. I know we are twin flames. Our love burns brighter than a star. I am freeing myself from my karmic addictions and just know that things are not what they seem. I love you. I remember everything like it was yesterday. Us, what happened. I am manifesting my reality just as you. I don't want to wear a mask anymore when it comes to you because I know this soul connection, this twin flame connection, is always going to have us find our way back to each other because you are always on my mind. I am always reminded of you. I always see you, I see you in my dreams, I see you in my heart, and I see you in my mind. I do hope this week's Twin Flame Awakening weekly reading has brought you clarity and guidance and helped you in some way. If this resonated, drop a heart below to let me know. If you would like to book with me, I do offer Twin Flame services. I have a Twin Flame Journey Energy Check-In reading. It is a pre-recorded 45 minute reading where I'll do an energy check-in on your Twin Flame connection. If you would like a live one-on-one -on -one session, Twin Flame Coaching, I offer a 30 minute and a one hour session. I also have a group coaching membership, Twin Flame Awakening, where you can join this membership group to learn what your Twin Flame connection means to you. It is a monthly membership, so you can go to the description box below to get all that information, get my links, connect with me outside of YouTube, and please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you are notified when new content is posted on this channel. Have a beautiful day, night, or afternoon, and I'll talk to you soon.